In section 7.3, we will look at proving triangles similar. So a few of our postulates and theorems. The angle-angle similarity postulate says if two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then the two triangles are similar. The side-angle-side similarity theorem says if an angle of one triangle is congruent to an angle of another, and the sides, including the angles, are proportional, then the triangles are similar. The side-side-side similarity theorem says if the corresponding sides of two triangles are proportional, then the triangles are similar. All right, looking at some examples, we're going to explain why the triangles are similar and write a similarity statement. So in number one, we are given that angle B is congruent to angle D, and we notice that we have vertical angles ACB and ECD. So we can say that angle ACB is congruent to angle ECD, because those are vertical angles. So therefore, these two triangles are similar by the angle-angle similarity postulate. And my similarity statement would be triangle ABC is similar to triangle EDC. Okay, in number two, we are given some sides and an angle. So we know that angle R is congruent to angle Y. Now we have to determine if our corresponding sides are proportional. So we can say PR is to ZY, so 6 is to 8, which reduces 3 to 4, and QR is to XY, which is 3 to 4. So our corresponding sides are proportional. Our similarity ratio is 3 fourths. So these two triangles are similar by the side angle side similarity. And we can say triangle PQR is similar to triangle ZXY. All right, and for our third one, so we know that angle KXB is 90 degrees, which also makes angle KXA, or I should say MXA, 90 degrees. So angle KXB is congruent to angle MXA. That. And we were given that angle A is congruent to angle B. So these two triangles are similar by the angle angle similarity. So triangle AMX is similar to triangle B. K, X. All right, two more examples determining why our triangles are similar and writing the similarity statement. So in number four, we need to find out our similarity ratio. So I can say AB is to EF. So we have 9 to 12, which reduces 3 to 4. We can also say AC is to EF, so 6 is to 8, which reduces 3 to 4, and BC is to GF, so again 6 to 8 or 3 to 4. So 3 fourths is our similarity ratio. 
Our two triangles are similar by the SSS or side 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 similarity. So triangle ABC is similar to triangle EFG. And for our last example, number five. So we need to find out our similarity ratio. So let's see, ZV is to XV. So we have 18 is to 36, which reduces as 1 to 2. And YV is to WV, which is 12 to 24, which again reduces as 1 to 2. So I have two corresponding sides that are proportional. Then I also have vertical angles. So I can say angle um, Z, V, Y is congruent to angle X, V, W. So my two triangles are similar by the side angle side similarity. So triangle Z, V, Y is similar to triangle X, V, W. Okay, number six, A, B, C, D is a parallelogram, and we want to find the length of W, Y. So I'm going to call W, Y, X. And we can set up a proportion to find our missing side. So I can say A, W is to W, Y as X, W is to W, Z. So substituting in our values, 5 is to X as 4 is to 10. And taking the cross product, 50 equals 4X, dividing by 4, we get 12.5. So that means WY is equal to 12.5. Number 7, if the triangles are similar, find DE. Okay, so we want to find DE. Again, I'm just going to call it X. So we can say AB is to EB as AC is to DE. So 12 is to 18 as 10 is to X. So 12X equals 180. Divide by 12. X equals 15. So that means DE is 15. Indirect measurement is a way of measuring things that are difficult to measure directly. Methods of indirect measure could be light reflects off a mirror at the same angle at which it hits a mirror, or similar triangles are formed by certain figures and their shadows. Here is an example of an indirect measurement problem. Number 8 says in sunlight, a cactus casts a 9 foot shadow. At the same time, a person 6 feet tall casts a 4 foot shadow. Use similar triangles to find the height of the cactus. So we are going to set up a proportion to find the height of our cactus. Now again, there's more than one way to set up these types of problems. Just make sure that your two ratios go in the same order. So if, for example, I put the height of the person over the person's shadow, then my other ratio has to be height of the cactus over the cactus's shadow. And then we take the cross product. So 54 equals 4x. Divide by 4, we get 13.5. So that means the height of the cactus equals 
0.5 feet. In number nine, Joan places a mirror 24 feet from the base of a tree. When she stands three feet from the mirror, she can see the top of the tree reflected in it. If her eyes are five feet above the ground, how tall is the tree? So I'm going to call the height of the tree x. And in my first ratio, if I put Joan's distance from the mirror, so three, over her height, five, then my other ratio has to be the tree's distance from the mirror, which is 24, over the tree's height, which we don't know, and I'm calling x. Then take the cross product. 3x equals 120. Divide both sides by 3. We get x equals 40. So the tree is 40 feet tall. Okay, and that concludes our examples for proving triangles similar.